Yo, what's up everyone? Buzzy Beth here. Today, let's learn how to make an AFK sign appear when we press a button on our keyboard. So let's go ahead and get started. Inside of our workspace, let's go ahead and add in a dummy rig. And inside of our dummy rig, go ahead and locate its head. And inside of this head, let's go ahead and add a billboard GUI. And then inside of the GUI, let's go ahead and add a text label. So this text label is going to go ahead and display the AFK word. So what we want to do is change the text to, let's say, to AFK. Right now, the billboard is directly on the head. So we're going to change the stud offset Y axis to one. And then, of course, let's just go ahead and customize the text label to however you guys want to look. For me, I'm going to change the text color to white and then the border of it to black, a black outline, my bad. And yeah, so feel free to play with it. I'm actually going to go ahead and change the stud offset of it to 1.5. It's a little low for me. There's really no right or wrong way. It's all aesthetics. And once we are done with that, let's go ahead and add a remote event inside of replicated storage. And then I'm just going to go ahead and rename it to AFKRE, AFK remote event. We'll be referencing that inside of our script in just a second. Let's go ahead and add a script inside of server script service. Grab the billboard GUI with a text label and drag it inside of our script. And then go ahead and delete your dummy. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and create a variable for our billboard GUI that is directly inside of our script. We have an on server event function that's going to fire when the remote event is triggered in our local script, which we will be adding in just a second. And what it's gonna do is grab our character and it's going to grab the head of our character. So it's gonna go ahead and check if AFK and if we don't have the AFK text above our character's head, then the text of the billboard GUI is going to get cloned to our player's head. Else, if the player is back, let's say if the player you know resumes from the game, then it's just gonna go ahead and destroy the text that they have on their head, on the head. Yeah, so it's just gonna go ahead and destroy it. Perfect, next up, head over to starter player, starter player scripts, and let's go ahead and add a local script. We have a few variables, one which references the user input service. We have a debounce as well as our remote event. So we're gonna go ahead and create an input begin for our UIS, and we're gonna set it so that if a player presses Q and AFK is false, then the remote is going to be the remote event is going to get fired to the server else if the debounce is false then the opposite is going to occur so if we press q afk and the moment we move around in our workspace or we press q again then uh, the player is going to be no longer afk okay let's go ahead and test it out our script i press q and you see how ta -da, it's afk no longer afk if i keep pressing q but what's really cool is if I press Q and I move around in my workspace um, or even move the camera around, then it's just going to uh, automatically take the AFK away. Cool. So full scripts and models will be posted on our website. Link in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed this content, please give us a like and a subscribe. As always, have fun creating and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.